Hello everybody! In this lesson we will talk about the reading position pointer, about the indicator of the place inside the file. Look, in the last lesson we created a program where we retrieved all possible information from the file and when we did it we cleared the state. And right now, unluckily, we just cleared the state and we didn't do anything with the reading position pointer. Because of that, when we do something like and we try to send it to the output, we will notice that we have got two times important word here because it is the last word and it's because the pointer is right now at the end of the file. And we have to change that, that pointer. And this pointer is called a reading pointer. And we have got two functions that we can use on the reading uh, pointer. And these functions are inside the fstream library or inside input fstream library. It is not possible to use it inside the output fstream library because it's easy to remember it is just for reading, like the input fstream library. fstream library has got both libraries so we can use it there. And th these functions can tell where is the reading pointer or set the reading pointer at the specified position. So let's start from uh, getting the pointer. Let's see where it is right now. So we can do something like C out and file and use the function tell get. And when we run the program, we can see that the position of the pointer is 43. This position is um, is the bin uh, is the binary. Uh, position, it means that it is 43 bytes far away from the beginning of the file. We should use the iOS binary plug here because sometimes the text mode which is set by default might have sometimes problem with interpreting free things right. So it is more safe to use the binary here. Okay, so we know now how to tell where is the reading pointer and now let's learn how to set the pointer somewhere and maybe uh, let's ask ourselves why would we uh, even need something like that well for example you would like to read from the middle of the file or maybe you would like to back in the middle of the file to the beginning uh, or maybe you would like to just see how big is the file oh let's do something like that let's check how big is the file so Right now, when we open the file in uh, that line, we are at the beginning of the file, so the uh, tell get function should return zero. And uh, how to get to the end of the file? Look, the cget function has got a second overload function, which we can use. Here we can put the how many bytes from the flag place we want to move our pro pointer and the flag can take the beginning and and current options the beginning is set by default when we do something like file seek get and when we put here for example 40 it means that we are setting the pointer at, at 40 bytes from the beginning so it means that we are doing something like that but well, we want to set it at the end, so it might be hard be when we don't know how many characters are inside. Uh, we could read all characters, but it would be a bit too long, but uh, beca uh, because it takes time when <laughs> the file is very big. But we have got here a flag which we can use, so let's use it. We have got the end flag. 
and how many characters we want to move fr from the end uh, end mm, flag from the end of the file. Well, uh, how many bytes? When we type here minus five, we'll move five uh, five bytes to the left. When we type here five, we'll move five bytes to the right. So when we type zero, we will be at the end of the file. We are just not moving from the end of the file. We are setting it at the end of the file. And because of it, now when we use the file tell get function here, uh, we have got here inside the uh, size of the file. This size we can save to the stream position type of a variable. So size of file because uh, tell get function returns a variable which type is stream position. You can use the integer also because uh, it has got a converter which will do, which should do fine. But well, it's more professional when we know exactly um, the type when we look at the variable, right? So let's send to the output. The size of the file is size of file bytes and and when we run the program as you can see we have got here now the size of the file is 43 bytes but as you can see also <laughs> well nothing else happened afterwards why because look we set the pointer at the end and when we do something like do why uh, file is not at the end uh, why that end of file flag doesn't say we are at the end uh, do the things that are inside here well but we are at the end so we are not doing anything right now here and because of that we should reset again the pointer so how to do it well we just need to again set the file seek get and set it at the beginning of the file so just type here zero or type here ios beginning so we are setting from the from the play uh, from the be beginning to z zero okay let's run the program and as you can see it is uh, everything is working fine we now know the size of the file is 43 bytes if you wanted to use the current uh, flag it would work like when we for example would read 10 bytes and when, if we use something like that and we did something like minus 5 so our position is 10 by, uh, 15 bytes from the uh, from the beginning uh, from the beginning and after using this our position is te uh, is 10 if you used that way it would be 20 it's pretty easy and obvious how it works okay let's let's go back to the original way version of this program let's run it as you can see everything is working fine that's all in this lesson thank you very much